And after all, you're my wonder wall. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most bizarre covers of British songs. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the weirdest and not so wonderful covers of songs by British artists. What's the most bizarre cover version you've ever heard? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Wannabe, Zebrahead, originally by the Spice Girls. Whether you categorise the musical style of Zebrahead as rap rock or pop punk, a Spice Girls cover doesn't exactly fit their brand. If you wanna be my lover, you gotta get with my friends. However, this Californian group gathered an international fan base with their experimental style and they weren't afraid to switch things up. The band's version of Wannabe may not be their finest hour, but they gave it everything they've got. The lyrics are mostly unchanged, but Zebrahead's production transforms a British girl power pop anthem into something for the all-American rocker. It's weird, but it sort of works. We're not so sure about the rap bit, though. Number 9. Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, The Flaming Lips, originally by The Beatles. There are two possible interpretations of The Beatles' song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Either it was inspired by a drawing made by John Lennon's young son, or it's about drugs. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. Lucy in the sky with diamonds. It's pretty obvious which story the Flaming Lips buy into. Their 2014 cover version, featuring Miley Cyrus and Moby, is just one track on an album full of Beatles covers. Followed her down to a it's a psychedelic cocktail of discordant sound accompanied by a very strange music video. To be fair though, the original song is pretty weird to begin with, and Cyrus's vocals are a surprisingly good fit. Number 8. Never Gonna Give You Up, Ashley Tisdale, originally by Rick Astley. Disney stars love to mine the classics to add a bit of credibility to their solo albums. There's an argument for introducing the songs to a new audience, but it's still bizarre that some of these covers exist. For instance, who decided that high school musical star Ashley Tisdale should cover Rick Astley? Her version of Never Gonna Give You Up is a typical 2000s bit of bubblegum pop, conjuring up visions of dance mats, candy bracelets and dial-up internet. Cheesy is an understatement. Number 7. I Can't Get No Satisfaction, Devo, originally by The Rolling Stones. With their kitsch sci-fi styling and deadpan performance style, Devil's cover of this iconic Rolling Stones hit is unusual to say the least. It was so out there that their label felt the need to run it past Mick Jagger first. Luckily, he gave it the seal of approval. According to the band, Jagger suddenly stood up and started dancing around on this Afghan rug in front of the fireplace, the sort of rooster man dance he used to do, and saying, I like it, I like it. The song helped kickstart the electro rock band's successful career, as did the video, which was one of the first ever to be played on MTV. Number 6. Strawberry Fields Forever Los Fabulosos Cadillacs, originally by the Beatles. Strawberry Fields is one of the Beatles' trippiest tracks and has spawned plenty of weird cover versions over the years. Strawberry Fields Forever Strawberry Fields Forever 
This 90s ska reimagining by the Argentinian band Los Fabulosos Cadillacs is definitely a unique take. Until the chorus kicks in, you might even struggle to see a resemblance to the original track. The lyrics are mostly sung in Spanish, except for Debbie Harry's lines. Yes, the Blondie star is there too, although who knows why. Watching the video, you might imagine that she bumped into the band on a wild night out and joined them for a Sunday come down in the park. Number 5. Man's Not Hot, We Butter the Bread with Butter, originally by Big Shack. You don't get many covers of novelty songs, but this one is such a banger, someone had to try their hand at it sooner or later. Boom. The tingles. We just didn't think it would be a German metal band. Man's Not Hot was released by the comedian Michael Dapper, under the pseudonym of alter ego and comedy creation Big Shack. After performing on Charlie Sloth's Radio 1 show, his rap went viral and became a meme. Its popularity extends beyond our shores, and in 2017, the Berlin deathcore band We Butter the Bread with Butter transformed the comedy track into something a little different. It's a humorous treat for hardcore metal fans, but it's also truly bizarre. Number 4. Faith, Limp Biscuit, originally by George Michael. Covering a George Michael classic was not a predictable career move for Limp Bizkit, but the American rap metal band made it work for them. Love them or hate them, the cover drew attention to the group and helped raise their profile. Lead singer Fred Durst told Billboard, I love George Michael and decided to cover Faith for fun. We like to do really aggressive versions of cheesy pop hits. The track truck supposes the verse, which is fairly faithful to the original, with a screamo-style chorus. It was critically panned, and George Michael reportedly hated the cover, but Limp Bizkit fans still hold it close to their hearts. Number 3. Something, Telly Savalas, originally by The Beatles. Back in the 70s, Telly Savalas was an actor best known for starring in Kojak detective drama about a New York City policeman. We love you, baby. His character had a fondness for lollipops and a good catchphrase, but it seems Savalas' true love was music. He had a number one hit in the UK with a spoken word version of Bread's If, and also covered the George Harrison classic Something, reimagining it as a smooth 70s style ballad. Something the way she moves. It's not unusual for film and TV stars to enjoy brief music careers, but we can't help but be confused by Kojak taking on the Beatles. Something in the way she knows. Number 2. Wonderwall, The Mike Flowers Pops, originally by Oasis. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. It can be fun to hear your favourite songs reimagined years later in a new style or genre. However, this cover of Wonderwall, performed by the Mike Flowers Pops, came to the public's attention in 1995, while the Oasis version was still in the charts. Chris Evans touted the cover as the original on his Radio 1 breakfast show and made it single of the week. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you. In Scotland, the song even made it to Christmas number one. The band specialise in easy listening covers of pop classics and modern hits. They're decidedly bizarre, but a lot of fun. There are many things that I would like to say to you, but I don't know how. Number 1. Bohemian Rhapsody, William Shatner, originally by Queen. William Shatner's music career is the gift that keeps on giving. His performance of Rocket Man at the 1978 Saturn Awards has to be seen to be believed. I'm a rock it man. Shatner's early musical efforts were apparently serious, but since then he appears to have got in on the joke. Since 2011, he's released a Christmas album, a country album, and a metal album, 
He's even performed a CeeLo Green track live on the television. You walking around town with the girl I love and I'm like, you. But his finest hour is surely his version of Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody. Anyway the wind blows, doesn't really matter to me. Freddie Mercury has been quoted as saying, whatever you do, don't make me boring. Shatner appears to have taken this to heart. His track is the creme de la creme of weird covers, but it's definitely not boring. I sometimes wish I'd never been born at all. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.